Wir sind hier bei 16 Karat Gold 2017. An meiner Seite ex-WWE Superstar, gerade Tournament Teilnehmer Cody Rhodes. Cody, how are you feeling? I'm good. I'm a little uh, tired. A little tired. Okay. For the first two days were uh, balls to the wall, like really just incredibly aggressive tournament. Uh, and even the atmosphere is really almost like exhausting because it's such a I'm sure you've seen it yeah. it's just wonderful fan base uh, so I'm a little tired but I'll I'll be good to go by showtime I'll be good to go so you're talking about upon you uh, the receiving um, by the fans um, mm -hmm. concerning you is phenomenal I mean it's it's amazing the people um, cheer for you as loud as they can so yesterday you just fell down to the crowd oh yo crowd surf yes. yeah the crowd surf which uh for a minute i i didn't think they understood i wanted to go in so they kept like shoving me back up on the stage kindly um but then they uh they figured it out it was actually um some of the photos i saw that's some of the coolest coolest things i've done uh since you know breaking away from wwe being able to like do my own thing this is uh definitely a lot of memories over the weekend Okay, so kind of cool picture there. You're talking about breaking away from WWE and talk about your WWE career, um, some of the experience there and also your reason why you uh, broke, um, broke um, away from WWE mm -hmm. in general. Oh, I mean, I just, for me, it was just time to kind of grow as far as where I was at with this uh, kind of entering my wrestler prime. I think prime wrestling is like between 30 and 40. I, or I keep telling myself that. Um, and I just wanted to do uh, do it kind of by my terms. Um, 11 years is a long time to work anywhere and uh, just needed the break. And the break ended up being just enriching. It's the best way to put it. Uh, every outing has been like this. I keep kind of waiting for the bloom to be off the rose, for it not to be cool anymore, but uh, this whole world tour is unreal. And these events are, I, I often think that people imagine WWE being so much bigger and so much grander. WWE is wonderful, but this by no means is shabby. This is serious. I mean, like, just when I walked out and saw that LED board and then the way the fans are, you know, literally that's the first time I've ever had fans where they're touching the ring. Oh, just a really just wonderful experience. And like I said, you know, taking that break, being out there to kind of find myself. It's places like that 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 happens. Okay, so what's your goal in in the future? What uh, is next for Cody Rhodes? Is there... Um A plan for you to maybe go back to WWE one day? Yeah, I mean, currently unlikely, but definitely never say never. Um, because this is very sustainable, mm -hmm. which I didn't, I didn't envision. This is incredibly sustainable. It's a great livelihood to be able to travel over the globe on your terms. And also, I've uh, kind of picked up a few uh, guest roles. Um, in Los Angeles doing uh, acting and not wrestling and I, I want to balance the two you know my main focus with wrestling as of now is Ring of Honor New Japan pro wrestling um, those two finding my home there finding uh, finding my niche there um, and experiencing uh, those experiences so what's the difference between working for WWE and working for New Japan Pro Wrestling? The really easy way I, I like to describe it is, um, you know, WWE often uses a term that people don't like it, but it is, it's an accurate term. They say sports entertainment. Um, when you look at all pro wrestling is also sports entertainment. The um, WWE might skew more towards the entertainment side, whereas New Japan Pro Wrestling skews more towards the sports side. And that's, uh, that's something I was looking for. Because mm -hmm. um, that's a little bit like the wrestling I grew up on, you know, territory wrestling. I didn't grow up on it. I ended up just falling in love with it, I guess. Um, but uh, the sporting element of it is really impressive in Japan. Actually, not unlike here. You know, every, all the competitors out there around the trophy, the, the big photo earlier, very, you know, professional and just the sporting side of sports entertainment. All right, so um, you broke away from WWE, but WWE obviously um, has one of the greatest rosters they ever had yeah. in history. So if you 
could pick three of the guys of the current roster for maybe a dream match for you personally, hmm. whom would you pick? Well, that's a good question. It's hard to think that they have such this great roster because I always I keep seeing the same guys, but I mean, I never got to mix it up with AJ Styles in a proper fashion. I think AJ is just phenomenal, no pun intended. Um, AJ Styles, Ty Dillinger, I wrestled a lot of guys, especially on live events, untelevised. Um, what's another one that I really... And Kevin Owens. I never really got to mix it up other than at WrestleMania and the big multi-man uh, ladder match. Mm -hmm. So Kevin, AJ, Ty Dillinger. So um, many of the people um, that watch WWE um, criticize the Stardust character. Mm -hmm. Give a little insight of what was uh, the Stardust character all about and how did it come up? I think, uh, I don't, you know, I, I was its biggest critic, <laughs> if anything, um, but I, uh, it's interesting, it kind of hits dim different demographics. A certain more like hardcore audience didn't particularly care for it, um, or maybe they did, but they, it was odd for them to see a better wrestler pretending to be a worse wrestler, um, if that makes any sense. But then there's a whole other demographic of young kids mm -hmm. um, that just ate it up that bought all the gloves and all the figures and really enjoyed the pageantry of it. And a lot of times I, I don't get to mention this, but I feel like that is one of the one of the reasons it was difficult for me to move on from it was a lot of little kids that didn't know Cody Rhodes. So you're kind of letting them down. And uh, I like when I see like there's a young man at the tournament the last few nights. He, you can see him in, you know, uh, when you watch it on demand because he keeps popping up on the apron. But I like um, I like making fans out of them because I feel like if I let them down by leaving Stardust behind, uh, maybe they can see something uh, in me that they that they like just as much, you know? Okay, so that's interesting. So is the Cody Rhodes we see on the independence the Cody Rhodes you wanted to be in WWE? Um, I guess from a probably from a look perspective, yes, because WWE actually made the the look. <laughs> they were the ones who. Uh, The first uh, creative services are really talented group of individuals. The first look, the first set of tights, the bomber jacket, all that, that was all their concept. And I thought it looked like a million bucks and just was so ready to, to have it. I had that gear ready for months and, uh, and it didn't happen. But look is one thing. I think as far as performance, I, I still don't know. I, I still don't know what my own <laughs> my own thing is uh, there's a built-in element to me that people are aware of with my family lineage in this business there's a built-in element with the history I had at WWE there's a built-in element with how I left WWE but what the future holds will be just as much a surprise to fans as it is to me okay so last question yeah. your father was one of the greatest wrestlers of all time Dusty Rhodes how did he influence your career I just see influences it every day, um, but it di in different ways, you know, like um, he's my father. I think a lot of wrestling fans have a hard time separating Dusty, public Dusty, from the Dusty I had. Um, he was my dad, so most of the influences are in how he raised me as an individual, human being, how to treat people, um, how to stand up for yourself, how to, well, how to whatever, you know, dad stuff. Um, so that's where he influences me the most. Uh, as far as his, his body of work and what he did in the ring, uh, I'm no Dusty Rhodes, um, and uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, He, I like I like going back and watching what he was able to do, how he was able to do it as far as from a backstage perspective and his vision being, you know, portrayed by two others or when he's out there with, you know, Nature Boy or Tully or even Savage and Boss Man. Just it was very, very good at what this really is, um, not what we think it is sometimes. Sometimes we think it's about moves and and there's some cool stuff moves and super kicks and power bombs or whatever but really there's this deeper nuance to what we do this connection to the audience that is the hardest thing to find and he had it from day one all right yeah thank you so much thank you thank you man very much thank you